Xenobots, or live-in robots, are small, drop-shaped, artificial living organisms with a diameter of no more than one millimeter. They are created from stem cells of a certain species of African frogs. Xenobots first appeared in 2020 during an experiment. The result exceeded expectations. They were able to move, heal themselves, and even work in groups. But, as it turned out later, their abilities are not limited to this. Scientists who created the world's first living robots have discovered that they reproduce. Moreover, the form of reproduction they use is absolutely new for animals and plants. It is called kinematic replication. Previously, scientists observed it exclusively at the molecular level. According to the authors of the work, they themselves were amazed by this discovery. When it comes to robots, we always imagine complex metal mechanisms. But, as the study's lead author Josh Bongard, a professor at the University of Vermont, says, it doesn't matter what the robot is made of. What matters is what he knows how to do, namely, whether he can perform any actions by himself and solve certain tasks set by a person. Given this definition, xenobots are robots, as they are created to perform certain actions. But at the same time, they are also a living organism, since they are created from frog stem cells. Stem cells have been actively discussed for several decades, and we talked about them earlier. The peculiarity of stem cells is that they are non-specialized cells that can differentiate into specialized ones. In other words, they initially do not have a specific purpose, but they can change and replace any specialized cells. To create xenobots, the authors took samples of live stem cells from frog embryos, after which they gave them the opportunity to incubate Xenobots have a spherical shape and include approximately 3,000 cells. Their development is still at the very initial stage. They were created simply as an experiment and have no practical application. They cannot even be called a technology yet, but rather a phenomenon similar to the first computers that appeared in the 1940s of the last century. However, as the creators of Living Robots suggest, the combination of molecular biology and artificial intelligence is a promising direction that will allow solving many problems of humanity in the future. For example, they can collect microplastics in the oceans. The study was funded by DAPRA. Few people know, but it was this agency that gave the world the internet. The technologies that DAPRA oversees are partly for military purposes. What is not food for thought for conspiracy theorists? Nevertheless, Xenobots are beginning to surprise scientists now. As it turned out, they are able to reproduce their own kind, as stated in a study published in the Painus edition. Self-reproduction of Xenobots is an extremely rare phenomenon that occurs under certain circumstances. As I said above, the method of reproduction used by them is called kinematic replication. Previously, it was only seen at the molecular level. The principle boils down to the fact that molecules use certain suitable blocks from which they create similar molecules. Subscribe to our Yandex, Zen channel, where we have prepared even more interesting information for you. Frogs reproduce in the usual way, but when the cells separate from the rest of the embryo, they have the opportunity to engage new biological processes in a new environment. As a result, stem cell robots have learned not only to move in space, but also to reproduce says Michael Levin, one of the authors of the study and director of the Allen Discovery Center at Tufts University. Xenobots reproduce on the same principle as molecules. They find suitable cells and build groups of them similar to themselves. It should be noted that this process does not require any actions at the genetic level. Previously, scientists have never observed such a phenomenon either in groups or in single cells. Having discovered this phenomenon, scientists decided to increase the rate of reproduction. To do this, they gave the exenobots the optimal shape for kinematic replication. It turned out that this is a chi-shaped shape shape, strikingly similar to the character of the legendary Pac-Man game. Your mouth recess. They use it to collect material to form a new exenobot. Ghana is not the most advanced African country, ranking 11th on the continent in nominal GDP. At the same time, the New York Times in the spring of 2018 called Ganga's economy one of the fastest growing in the world. On December 30, the 38th annual technology exhibition was held in Accra, the capital of the country, and there they showed military equipment of the future, including exoskeletons and combat robots. 
The demonstrations of new technologies are supported by the local automobile company Kintanka. Its founder is the African Quadwo Safo Kintanka, who proclaimed himself an apostle and the founder of his own religious teaching. In 2018, he presented, for example, a three-wheeled sports car and a limousine combined with a motorcycle. Kintanka's products periodically get into collections of unusual vehicles, but in Ghana, he is considered a famous inventor. The theme of the latest technology exhibition was expanding the boundaries of science, creativity, and technology through religion. Kintanka showed representatives of the government and the Ghanaian army prototypes of his military developments. The main one was a working prototype of the largest armored personnel carrier in the world. The African inventor took care of the comfort of the soldiers. The interior of the armored car is completely sheathed in white leather. Ghanaian media paid the most attention to the armored personnel carrier, but Western journalists paid attention to the soldiers who accompanied the transport. They were wearing Kintanka exoskeletons with massive armor and weapons on their backs. The video from the presentation shows that the fighters are not very comfortable in it. Another set of exoskeleton was shown without a person. The technical characteristics of the suit are unknown. Another development presented to the public is an upright combat robot. He did not work at the exhibition, and there was also no pilot inside. In structure, it resembles the Russian robot Igor from the Kalashnikov Concern. A similar development was already shown in Ghana in 2016, but it never went into production. The developments of the Ghanaian inventor were appreciated by Autumn Fu Osei Tutu, EE, the king of the Ashanti state, which is part of Ghana. He expressed bewilderment why the country's army has not yet adopted the equipment that Kintanka shows every year. The writings of the Apostle Kwadwo Safo are beyond the limits of science. Every year, he shows his mysterious inventions, but we didn't even bother to approach him and ask how he makes them. There's something special about him, something that we should use right now. It is known that the android is named Mephi. The two-meter, Tall black girl is equipped with special sensors that are able to recognize speech in several languages and dialects. English, French, Pidgin, Yoruba, Arabic, Swahili, Hausha, Igbo, and Afrikaans. In addition, Mephi can not only understand his interlocutor but also maintain a simple dialogue with him about African culture, history, and economy. The head of the Unicon group of companies, Chax Ikwame, noted that, at the moment, Africa does not have a significant place in the world of technology, since local developers do not have the capabilities that Chinese engineers have, for example, but their new development will certainly give rise to a successful path of African science. Thanks for attention. Put likes, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click on the bell.